we've got all these fans downtown, but businesses all over Indianapolis are benefiting from this weekend in a big way, and you've had a chance to visit some here on this Friday. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we already knew that the Swifties were going to be excited, but businesses are just as excited, like you said. <laughs> I've never seen her live ever, so I'm just excited for that. I'm a huge fan of, you know, all of the greatness that she has brought to all of the communities. Swifties aren't the only ones excited for the heiress tour in Indy. You have this influx of new eyes and new opportunities to put your brand in front of people from all over the, the world. The Index is one of many local businesses taking advantage of the buzz too. We've really focused on all things Taylor Swift and um, have leaned into our um, kind of local creative economy to produce some great t-shirts, some earrings, some bracelets, candles. AJ Distillery also in a Taylor Swift era. Here you can make friendship bracelets, have Swift dream drinks, everything to get you prepared for the heiress tour. So 200,000 people is a lot of new faces coming to Indianapolis this weekend and for small businesses it means so much just to be able to get our name out there be recognized talking about Taylor Swift I get to talk to them about what we do here and serve up some really great drinks for some Swifties like Cheryl Shiflett going to see Taylor is about more than her concert. I think supporting the communities while you're in them is, is really important to, to build up the area. I think it's cool to have like a community of people that's within just like one person. I mean, Brad, for me, it was cool to see the businesses really benefit. I mean, I might have to circle back around to get some of the merchandise, mocktails, I mean, everything.